Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Aquarius's new moon energy reading for this upcoming new moon. Now, in this message, we're going to look at what's being released, where to focus your energy, and the outcome as you move through this transition. I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Now, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. Most important message here for Aquarius Spirit. What do my Aquarius friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Queen of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. So you've been trying to start something new, new beginnings, new experiences. Maybe this is a new business opportunity, but there's been a lot of challenges that you've had to overcome when it comes to this new beginning. Where to focus? Definitely leading into the routine, leading into the plan, the Two of Wands energy, okay? Two of Wands, Nine of Cups, like leading into the plan. If you need help or need assistance, don't be afraid to ask friends, ask family members to help you with this. I definitely feel what's to come here, Aquarius, is... I definitely feel like this is channeling a person who is single, or who has not met their person yet. And I feel here that person is about to enter into your life. There's a need to lean into the routine when it comes to this new beginning. Because I feel like this new beginning is going to help you bring that person in into your existence, into your experience. Okay. So let's clarify. We're going to start here with the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands. Now again, guys, if you find the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. We have the star with the seven of swords, five of swords on the bottom of the deck. So this is what's being released, guys. Okay? It's like you've been on this healing journey and come to the end of that road. Now you're feeling as if you're ready to start something new, something fresh, but it's been challenging to do so. This person is about to enter your life and help you to understand why anything else was very challenging. So, don't focus so much on the things that are going wrong right now, Aquarius. Try to lean into the things that are going right. Try to lean into that positive energy positive experience okay this person that's about to enter into your life is going to be a perfect match you guys in the outcome not sure if you realize this we have the king and queen of pentacles with the lovers energy okay so this is coming out two ways for those of you that are single, this person that's about to enter into your life is everything that you've imagined, everything that you've desired, everything that you've ever dreamed of, okay? For those of you that this is a person from your past coming back, you already know that this is your soulmate. I will say that this person is helping you change your perspective when it comes to relationships. And they are going to be completely different from what you're used to in the past. So be prepared for that. 
but be open to this experience here, Aquarius, because I definitely feel like this is the one. And I would say that this person, if you haven't met this person already, they're about to enter within the next month or so. Let's pull a few cards out here for your advice. Moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And again, if you found the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, give it a thumbs up. Or you can comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So, Aquarius... I can't express it enough. Lean into the routines. If this is a business that you're building, lean into that. If this is like a work, new work opportunity or new job, lean into the routine because this person is about to enter through that experience, okay? Work, business related. I also feel like that's what's going to bring you and this person together. Business. So it's not going to start off romantic going to start off as a business, as a business friendship, something along those lines. Be open to it because it's everything that you've ever desired in life. So your soul truth message here, Aquarius, for your reading is, am I in my head or in my heart? What is the quality of your self-talk? Our brain is like a muscle if we condition it daily, the fears and limitations will take over. Mastering our thoughts is about being the creator of our own life. Where your head meets your heart is where miracles happen. Today's soul action. Today, master your mind. Watch an inspiring video. Do some tapping. Read an empowering book or write out all the reasons why you believe in yourself and your dreams. And get out of your head, Aquarius. So, Aquarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump on and let you guys know about the book that I recently created. Now this is a must have for all tarot enthusiasts. You're going to get 15 unique spreads as well as an area to journal your reading along with journaling prompts to ask your guides during the reading. Let me just show you a little preview. The book is published on Amazon and is available now. So if you're interested in purchasing this book, I'm going to leave the link below in the description box. So let's dive into your reading. 